Hi there, my name is Ryan Earl. I work with Field Services for the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure. We are here at the Dakota Creek Scour Protection Project on the Sunshine Coast near Port Mellon. The purpose of this project is to provide scour protection for a older bridge, which includes building embankments, placing riprap, and placing concrete reinforcement to ensure the longevity of the bridge. Today we'll be talking about site isolation. Site isolation is going to be used for us to conduct work within the existing creek. We will be doing excavation, placing of riprap rock, and as well as concrete placement, and we cannot do that within the flowing creek. So there's seven steps in order to isolate a work site. Step one entails making sure you have the correct environmental permits. Generally, these are provided by the Ministry of Forests, Lands, Natural Resource Operations and Rural Development, as well as Fisheries and Oceans Canada. There are certain requirements to be met. For this project, we have restrictions as to how much turbidity we can have in the water, as well as maintaining fish passage. Step two, surveying the existing site. There are some constraints with this, including where the proposed infrastructure is, maintaining the correct amount of flow of the creek, and ensuring that it connects to each creek bed. Step three is to excavate the diversion. Mainly what we use is an excavator, and they will excavate the diversion to the required design. In this instance, we had a seven meter wide bottom with a one and a half to one slope. Step four is to convey the water through the diversion. The most important step about that is the fish salvage. This is important to ensure that no fish are harmed. For the fish salvage, nets were installed at the upstream and downstream ends. A combination of minnow trapping and electrofishing were conducted to carefully and safely remove all fish from the creek before water was moved into the diversion channel and collect the fish from there on. What we have here is polyliner. This is used to prevent from erosion. The polyliner then ties into geotextile, and on top of the geotextile, we use riprap to slow the velocity of the creek down. An additional measure used is one cubic meter sandbags stacked two meters high with polyliner to ensure that no water flows underneath. Step five is to regularly inspect the channel. This is to ensure that there's no damage, there's no issue, or we don't have any water flowing where we don't want it to be. If damage is found within the diversion, we fix it immediately. Step six is to repair any damage to the diversion, and it is very imperative to get that done as soon as possible. Step seven, once the construction is complete, is to remove the isolation measures and convey the water back into the existing creek. It is important to leave the creek in the existing site conditions as it was before the construction. Now that there's water flowing in the main channel, we have salmon swimming under the bridge, going upstream to spawn. 